The war. The war is destroying my race. If this war does not end soon, Cybertron will be no more. There will be no more Cybertronians. Zeta Prime. Damn you. Right when I needed your guidance, I had to take this burden as Prime. I feel like I am failing. Oh. Matrix. Optimus Prime. Zeta. I understand that I have not best been the best of primes. That I've let my greed get better of me and let it be my downfall. But I'll give you my knowledge. I'll give you my strength. And with it, you shall transform. But say that I good luck, Optimus. Transform and transcend. Zeta <sighs> Prime, I will take your words and bring them to battle. Welcome to another Transformers Generations review. This time we're taking a look at the brand new Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime figure. Now this is a whole wave I've been very excited about. Got the whole wave in the mail today. Along with Optimus Prime, Jazz right here. Take a look, Jazz, and very excited for Shockwave. But today we're going to be taking a look at Optimus Prime here. Who has a completely new mold uh, for this uh, line in the game, which the vehicle mode is a lot smaller than. It's almost very, very. It's very compact. It's almost a scout class or basic class size of a vehicle. Uh, and I really dig the way this looks. It has a very uh, uh, war within feel to it. We'll actually take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, the way that the game designers described this as a fist on wheels, sure, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean, but I kind of get it. I mean, it definitely looks like if this was running at you at full speed, this would feel like just about a big punch in the face. A uh, big giant metal punch in the face, I guess. Uh, yes, very, very cool. Um... But I'm not sure if I like it more than the uh, original Generations War for Cybertron vehicle because this is just such a great looking vehicle. It's very Cybertronian, very very alien. It's just so sleek and streamlined. While you can obviously see this is chest, these are arms, those are legs and back. While this is much, much more compact and just hidden. But it's not bad at all. Actually, while we have them up, let's take a look at kind of like a... I had this little thing set up of an evolution of Cybertronian Optimus Prime figures. You can see, like, first we had the Titanium War Within, Animated, War for Cybertron, and then Fall of Cybertron. So, put these back up, and we'll see if, like, the overall influences from uh, War Within. You can see that it does does take some liberties but especially like with the three uh, uh, exhaust pipes I guess stick out from the back and actually has like windows here as opposed to the first one which really didn't just looks a lot meaner than uh, previous incarnations and he comes with a gun which is stored which can be stored on top of the vehicle but it's kind of lazy. I prefer to just set it off to the side. All the wheels spin rather, rather freely. Works pretty nice. Except our uh, Autobot symbols here in the front look really nice as well. Overall, it's just very, very nice. I really love the way this vehicle mode uh, mode looks. Uh, transformation is very simple. I mean, not very. Not like. Uh, 
overly simple, but in comparison to the War for Cybertron figure, it's very simple because that figure is actually kind of intimidating to transform sometimes. So first off, I'm just going to detach the blue pieces here, which will become the legs. The neat part here is that these will flip around and the feet will just kind of slide out like this. And those are the legs that are done. Uh, separate the front bumper part. Let's get the camera up a little bit. Uh, take this, these pieces off to the side like that. Flip the arms up, which will kind of re has, which will kind of have a revealer gimmick similar to the Prime figures. And bring the waist up and around. Rotate the forearms around. Like so. Rotate the hands around. You can leave the hands as is, but instead of having this like kind of a uh, just flat piece outside of the vehicle, you would see his fist, which doesn't look too bad, but I mean, it's not really necessary for the transformation if you want to leave the hands as is. Just to uh, cut out a step or two. And then, let's see. Yeah, take these pieces here and fold them around like that. And then bring down the exhaust ports so they're facing his back. And there you have Prime in robot mode. Now he is a very, very nice looking figure. Although I do have a few complaints about him. Um, first off, he's pretty small. Uh, we'll get a size comparison with him uh, with a uh, war for Cybertron here in a little bit. But parts of the arms just don't really match up with the rest of the body. If you look at the CG uh, concept art of Optimus Prime for the game, he is a big, beefy uh, war machine. While this one it feels a little bit thin and and just weird in places, like especially his biceps here, they just feel a little bit too thin. Just uh, kind of bugs me about that. Uh, articulation wise, uh, he has a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, nice swivel at the elbow, wrist, uh, waist, another ball jointed at the hip. Really good knee articulation because of the transformation and uh, hinged ankle. Nothing extraordinary, extraordinary but um, still good nonetheless. And initial shots of him with his gun looked like this, which makes the gun look horrible. I mean, absolutely horrible. But you can also just take the gun, flip around, which I think believe is the way it's meant to be. And uh, the gun looks a little bit better like that. But I still don't like the way this gun is. I plan on getting the uh, soon to be released Sideswipe. Which has a bet. Which actually the gun actually represents the gun that he, he had in the teaser trailer. A lot more than this one. So I plan on getting that gun just to put with uh, Prime here. So uh, let's uh, get War for Cybertron. Uh, Optimus Prime transformed into a size comparison. And you can see that standing next to War for Cybertron, Deluxe Optimus Prime, that not only is there a big height di difference, but overall size, this is a lot smaller. For a figure in design that is meant to be way bulkier and way just, just tougher looking, it almost looks kind of puny standing next to the War for Cybertron version. It's kind of sad actually. Um, yeah, so they've actually did a pretty good downgrade between the two. But as a figure as a whole, it's alright. It's not that great. Yeah, let's uh, bring up Bumblebee. Bumblebee even towers over him. Well, not towers, but like 
still got a good bit over him. Is it's not really that great of a figure. I just like the way that it looks design wise, it's still pretty neat. But as a toy, it's not that great. The gun uh, is mediocre at best. Uh, the head design I do like. I like that it has a painted blue eyes instead of the uh, light piping. But really, uh, it's just kind of blah. There's nothing that really is outstanding about it. The transformation is pretty easy, which is kind of good. Vehicle mode is great. Robot mode just kind of suffers a lot because size, because of the size, um, some parts just feel a little bit fragile. So unless you're a really big Optimus Prime fan, such as myself, and already have the War for Cybertron version, I would stick with that one, unless you're a big collector. But overall, this is definitely a downgrade from the War for Cybertron version. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching.